All right, guys, come on down. Welcome to the Kenzo Cave, my little piece of heaven here. As you can see, it's part fan cave, part laboratory. In this Pueblo basement, an artist all about second chances, turning forgotten figurines into can't miss collectibles. Just like any artist, they'll tell you, you know, you put a piece of yourself in every piece that you make. For the past eight years, I've had all these people follow me for a long time and it's really cool. Kenny Lanzati has been breathing life back into Broncos, Buffaloes, and all sorts of ball players. It really is surreal. I'm, I, like I mentioned earlier, I'm living my childhood over in my 40s. Working in law enforcement by day, by night, he's an artistic Dr. Frankenstein. Got my, uh, my legs, I've got the torsos here. Giving new homes to an island of misfit toys. I'm probably getting another 55 of these in the next couple weeks. Tim Tebow, I got a whole bunch of Tim Tebow. Some transformations, a bit tougher to take than others. I don't like to, but the pose and the helmet and everything make it good. But sorry, Demarius, you're a patriot now, so you got to do it. <laughs> what started as a way to build a bigger roster. There weren't enough Broncos. There was, there was a few. You had Plummer, you had, you know, Bailey. Has gained attention from those players and the big moments. Eight years later, I mean, I've done, I've done quite a bit. That stay near and dear to his brushes. I, I get to go and see all these players and when, when they reach out to me first and say, hey, I love it, how do I get one? Find out, you get interviews, you see the, pic, you see the uh, figurines in their locker and you're like, man, that's, that's what I did. It's a hobby but more like a labor of love. The 41-year-old takes on three to five projects at a time. I have to turn a lot of people away because I'm like, look, I'm five deep and I won't get any more than five deep. Which can take days, weeks, or even months. Let one dry, start another, let one. His favorite form of payment, the memorabilia that has filled his happy haven. Go back and forth, we can barter a little bit. As his talent spreads, the Pueblo resident is looking into 3D printing as he ponders a jump to the pros. I'm just riding the wave. Would it be really great to be able to do this all the time? Sure. But at this point, it, it's I'm really happy with where I'm at. But for now, he's enjoying these passion projects and the jaw-dropping displays unfolding right before our eyes. Of course, a big thanks to Kenny Lanzati for giving us some time uh, to show us how he gets his work done, and also to Carl Winder, who did an awesome job with me on this story. Bring him the sights and sounds of all of that. Yeah, I'd love to get a Peyton Manning one. He said he could sure. make us if you want. We could put a request. Uh, I know a guy now. No so. thanks. Hard pass. Hard <laughs> pass on that one. <laughs> okay. All right.